What's up guys, Brad here with Shiny Tech Things, where we tech things seriously. And on today's Tech Support Tuesday, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to swap out your cable modem. So let's say you got one of these, but then you bought one of these. How do you go ahead and swap it out? Let's get started. So before we get started, you're going to probably need to grab a pair of pliers here to be able to disconnect the coax cable depending on how tight it was installed onto the original cable modem. Now as you can see on the back of the cable modem we have the power, the coax cable, as well as a ethernet cable. This ethernet cable goes over to the router on the WAN port. So first we're going to go ahead and disconnect the ethernet cable. and then the power cable and then use the pliers to loosen the coax and then we can just remove that by hand. Now the new cable modem does use a different type of power plug. Now if you look at the old one this is just a standard power cable itself but the new one, it's got a barrel connector, and when it is a barrel connector, then it is going to have a wall plug like this that takes AC and converts it to DC for the unit to use. If your old one used the same type of plug, do not, and I repeat, do not use that power adapter off the old unit without checking to see the power requirements first. It is always best to use the power adapter that came with the device whenever replacing something to prevent any unnecessary damage. So now I'm going to go ahead and take the coax cable and screw it onto the new modem. Once it's fingered tight, you want to take the pliers. And just give it about another quarter turn or so. And that is to prevent any interference from it not being completely tight on the unit. Then we'll go ahead and plug in the ethernet cable going over to the router. And then of course, plugging in the power itself directly for the modem. Then you have to call your internet service provider and provide them the serial number and MAC address off of the bottom of the new modem and sometimes even off of your old one if they have problems finding your account so that they can authorize the new modem on your account and then you will be able to connect to the internet once the modem synchronizes its connections. Once it is plugged in and running then typically you're going to see a picture of like a globe that will light up and be green once it is connected to the internet. 